Bienvenidos Power Bottoms and welcome back to another Owl's Nest in which we will work on something together and talk about whatever we want or I'll talk about whatever we want and you can just listen. So, hi Bobby. Bobby's going to be joining us today. He's naked without his collar because he makes too much noise when I'm recording. But uh, here is your drink. I know you asked for coffee, so here you go. Your nice, warm, totally warm, totally real coffee. I will be drinking water. Ta-da! Look! It's covered in stickers as I wish my whole life was. So I am going to be working on a picture of my original characters that I have not drawn in at least a year. This is like the first time I draw them in a very long time. Their names are Mace and Jules and I'm going to talk about them a little bit. Um, I'm mostly going to talk about what happened there. I'm mostly going to talk about how I created them. Um, and how I create most of my characters and like things that I'm inspired by um, hopefully to help anybody out there who wants to create original characters and just about I don't know just about stuff I guess I'm just gonna talk about literally anything so here is a picture I'm working on like I said my original characters Mace is on top Jules is the bottom in the picture and in the relationship. Anyways, if you have something you want to work on, go ahead and grab that. Um, you probably have a project. Maybe you're working on commissions. Maybe you're working on a video, a, a homework thing. I don't know. Whatever you're working on, go ahead and go grab that. I'm going to color this picture. So I'm going to talk about these two characters a little bit because I feel like I don't talk about them enough. Um, these are actually some of my most favorite characters. So, as you know, I have a lot of original characters. Mace, I mean, Luca is my most popular, my most well-known original character. And although he is, like, my favorite and he's kind of, like, if I did have to have an OC for a mascot, it would probably be him. The thing is, if I could bring any of my characters to life, I would absolutely not bring Luca to life. I love the guy. He's kind of a jerk. Our personalities do not clash. It's just not a fun. It just wouldn't be that fun. However, I would choose Mace and Jules. I would choose both of them for them to come to life and be my friends. I feel like we would get along very well. I created them in 2016, I believe. It could be 2014, but I'm pretty sure it's 2016. If I'm wrong, I'll put the date up here or whatever. But I remember the night I created them. So I was working at the kitchen table. <laughs> I had my like old laptop or whatever and I was kind of just creating them. And I remember I was just so into these characters. I didn't, like when I come up with OCs, I usually don't. Well, especially back then, I don't really, like, start with the character sheet or anything. I'll usually just doodle them a few times, um, put them in weird situations, like, in my head and try to doodle them out. And then, you know, once I come up with, like, their personalities and stuff, that's when I'll do a character sheet, if any. I don't really do character sheets, if you've noticed. I probably should. It's probably the smart thing to do, but I don't. Anyways, so, I think the very first drawing I ever did of them was when... I, I did a comic strip with them, I think. And I can't remember what was the first comic strip. It was either... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll post them somewhere. But, um, yeah, I put them in really awkward situations first. And then I was like, yep, these are my boys. I was so passionate about them. I... I ended up staying up, like, really late. I don't remember if it was, like, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I stayed up really late working on these guys to the point where... It had to be sometime in December or November because I stayed up so late that my grandpa, me, Abuelito, woke up and he started to bake bread, like, from scratch. So that's why I'm thinking it's either December or uh, November just because he used to do that for, like, Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. So it had to be a holiday. And I remember just trying to work on these gay boys while my while my abuelito was making bread i don't know it's, it's such a weird random memory it's just i don't know and i remember just like being so proud of how they turned out i'm not sure if i still like their um i'm not sure if i still like their designs so actually this drawing that i'm working on right now this was supposed to be me 
redesigning them kind of like I was gonna see what worked but I ended up keeping their designs like the same well, for, except for Mace's hair I think I did make his fringe a bit longer here just because I realized I when I first created these characters I made their fringes really short because as you know most of my OCs have really long hair so I wanted something different and then here I go making Mace's hair longer I just have a thing for long, like characters with long hair, especially boys with long hair, man. Fictional boys with long hair. I don't know if it's why, but that's just my thing. So anyways, yeah. And I remember just being so proud of whatever picture I worked on with them. And I stayed up so late that my, that the bread finished baking at like God knows how long. And I was just finishing the picture and my abuelito was like, here like he, he gave me like a fresh loaf of bread from the oven and i remember thinking like i can't eat a loaf of bread at 4 a.m that's so unhealthy but gracias and i ate it anyway <laughs> it was so good what a great way to finish creating a character by eating a fresh loaf of bread it was not loaf not like sliced bread but like what are they called? They're like, not like French bread. There's a name for them. You like, you dip it in coffee or you eat it with your, your beans and eggs. Like, I don't, I don't know what the name of it. Okay. But so good. Oh my God. Anyways, that was such a great memory. <laughs> I love these guys so much. Oh my God. So anyways, going into the actual creation. So I really wanted more character. I wanted more human characters. And I wanted, I don't have any characters that are like officially in a relationship. And I wanted characters that were already established to be a couple. Like I just needed characters to practice drawing like interactions with, I guess. Because as you know, most of my art is just like a character, like a bust of a character facing the left, you know. It's still like that, you know what. Like it's so easy to draw. Might as well just kind of milk that. But who is this? Okay, that's Mace. Um... So I needed characters to practice interactions with. I'm going to be completely honest, I forgot where I left off because I was adjusting myself or readjusting like this whole thing. So I'm going to talk about how I created these two guys. Um, or you know, okay, like, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> People are always asking me how I come up with my original characters, what inspires their creation, their personalities, their designs, whatever. I feel like character creation has become such a stressful thing for artists and writers and whatever because it, there's so much pressure. Not not like... Just a lot of artists are pressured to have characters that are like original and not self-inserts, not... Mary Sue's, Gary Sue's, not overpowered, you know, OP. There's just this like thing that's like, I don't want to be that because it looks bad or it's cringy or it's unprofessional or whatever. As I grew older, I realized I, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if your character's a Mary Sue or a self insert or any of those bad things. As long as a character makes you happy, that's all that matters in my opinion. So when people are like, you know, some people are like, I want to create a character, but you know, like, ah, oh, I don't know how I'm, I, I haven't like figured out what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but they want the creation of this character to be super important. Like they don't want to create this person based off one tiny thing, you know, like let's say you really like cotton candy <laughs> and you're like I want to create a character that is based off of cotton candy whether it's a color palette or their personality or their design like anything but then some people are like no that's dumb that's stupid I cannot create a brand new existence fictional existence be over cotton candy because that's not important that's not like important enough you know like it's just not a cool idea it's not worthy of a brand new fictional character i guess that's what i'm trying to say um if you're the type of person that believes any of that 
I'm gonna need you to let go of it. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get over that and say, you know what? If you wanna create a brand new character that was solely based off of your love of cotton candy or solely based off of your love for a certain genre of music or anything like that, just go ahead and do it. You only live once, okay? Life is short, it's fleeting, you could die tomorrow. Create a character based off of your favorite coffee or a video game. Create self inserts. Create um, just uh, what what are they called when you create a character that's for a, a fictional universe that already exists? You know, I don't know. Your Sona, right? Create a an Undertale Sona. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just do whatever, okay? Anyways, I sorry if this gets like ranty or it doesn't feel like there's like a like a good. I haven't outlined this video, okay? I'm just kind of going off of the top of my head because I am passionate about original characters. So, the reason why I bring that up is because Mace, the guy on top, was solely based off of a YouTuber, actually. So he wasn't like, not his looks, not his personality. The only thing that I got from this YouTuber is that this YouTuber that I'm thinking of, I'll put his name up here. He does guitar covers of video game music, mostly, I think. Um, and I was like, he's so cool. I I already knew that I wanted to create a new character, but I didn't have any ideas for him. But just this one YouTuber made me think, you know what? This character of mine, he is also going to do like guitar covers. But he's going to do covers of video game music and cartoon music and, you know, all that stuff. Um, and he is also going to post it on YouTube and he's gonna be a somewhat popular YouTuber not like not like millions and millions of subscribers but I want him to be fairly known at least in his small hometown I guess and that's all I had and I went with it I was like I have this one teeny tiny idea I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna just create everything else <laughs> see what I mean it wasn't a it wasn't a super solid idea but just that tiny idea was like just like a little, like a domino effect, like a little ripple, and I created Mace, and he is the love of my life. I love that guy. And Jules, the guy down there, he, I just needed, first of all, I needed a boyfriend for Mace, and I was like, I want someone that I can kind of relate to. None of my original characters are artists, like, you know, like, um, illustrators, you know? So I was like, I want a character that I can take out my artistic struggles on. And I don't mean a, a sad backstory. He doesn't have a sad backstory as far as I know. But, like, if you go back to my really old videos where I talk about artist problems and stuff, I'm illustrating him because he's the artist that is struggling, <laughs> you know? If I don't want to draw myself struggling with something art-wise, I will draw him. Okay, what color is his hair? He's a very artsy guy, which is why I made him have like um like platinum hair and his eyebrows are actually supposed to be brown. I'll change the the type of brown later, but it's supposed to be insinuated that he dyes his hair cuz he's artsy. Um the only thing with him is that even though I wanted somebody to relate to, I wanted somebody different, so he mostly focuses on traditional mediums so so I want him to be some kind of painter I don't know if he works with watercolors he probably works with multiple mediums but I want to find a medium that like is his specialty so um I don't think it's watercolors but I'll figure it out but he's a very skilled artist and Mace's hair is a lot darker than this I think like that or something like that I don't remember I have to just create their designs and their color palettes right now on the top of my head Mace is also Hispanic because I wanted him, I wanted to relate to him as well. And I was like, I want him to, you know, I just needed a, another Hispanic character. <laughs> and, um, what else? I feel like there's other things. Oh my god. Also, I think the reason why I made Mace, also, he also sings. He sings. He's, he's a great singer as well. And I want him to do covers of, like, oh, I would love for him to do covers of anime. <laughs> like intros and stuff oh my god yes he's pretty much what i would love to be doing if i could sing if i could sing i would absolutely want to be doing what mace is doing you know 
I'm living out my dreams through him. So yeah, Mace and Jules are absolutely some of my most favorite OCs. I adore their relationship. Mace is very bright and goofy and it's just a, I mean like, I don't know man. If I could pick between one of them, it would be Mace. I feel like I would get along with him so well. Anytime where I want to like, if I just want to daydream about bringing OCs to life, it would, I, it's always these guys. Like these guys are so fun. Mace is a bit of a dork. He likes to make his boyfriend uncomfortable. And not like in a mean way, just more of a teasing type of way, you know what I mean? Um, I've always loved characters like that. I love goofy dudes, or just goofy characters, I guess. I love goofy characters who... Oh, I keep saying that word. Is there another word I can use instead of that, that C word? Because I'm tired of saying it. If you're tired of hearing it, I'm tired of saying it. I just like jokesters. I like people who can bring out, like, uh, you know, who are lighthearted um, in stressful situations. And that is one of the biggest things with Mace and my... Oh god, I keep pressing the undo button. Um, that was just... That's such a big part of his whole personality. And I do have a few other characters that are like that. Um, I don't draw them very often either. Such as uh, Micah is like that. Shay and Jackson a little bit. Which I do have to redesign all of those guys. Oh my god, I have to redesign all of my human characters. Because I just don't draw them enough. Um... Mace is just so supportive of Jules and his art and Mace is a very popular guy so they're in college. I don't know exactly what I want them to be studying but Mace does post stuff on online YouTube maybe or whatever their universe's version of YouTube is and he's fairly popular. He's very fairly successful. Not superstar level but you know like people at school know him um at their yeah at their university or college or whatever the heck i'm putting them in and he is constantly being flirted on by everyone a lot of girls like him and i i'm trying to figure out if i want him to like i feel like he loves the attention he's just that kind of person who's like even though he's not interested in any of them He's just like so down to be flirted on, you know, he's just like, heck yeah, it's like it, it just boosts his ego, but it's, but not in a very serious way, you know, um, it doesn't make him a jerk, he's not like a jerk about it, he's not like I'm hotter than everyone else, he just really likes attention. <laughs> he's an a-hole, but not that kind of a-hole, you know, I've always liked that. Because he's very extroverted, whereas Jules is a quiet artist. I love the contrast of that. And I feel like that's such a popular, like, shipping thing, I guess. Or a very popular... Yeah, whereas, like, one is extroverted and the other is introverted. Or one is a bad boy, one is a good boy. Or Sorry, I shouldn't use genders. But, you know, one is bad, one is good. Extroverted, not, you know, introverted. Uh, popular unpopular, smart, dumb, like, you know, there's, like, all those contrasting things, and I feel like people are, are trying to kind of break out of that, which is totally fine if you don't want to use those, but if you do want to use them, I feel like it's fine as well. This video is going nowhere. So the next character I'm working on is Jules. He is, between the two of them, he's probably the more mature one, I guess. He's very, like, he needs to be, not needs to be working, but he's very goal-oriented. I'm not exactly sure what I want his whole goal to be. He's an artist, but I don't know if I want him to want to be, a, like, a professional artist or not. Um, but he's very talented. He's very skilled in what he does. Um, he genuinely loves illustrating and painting. What does he paint? I don't know. I kind of want him to paint landscapes just because that is so not what I do and I think it would be fun to have an artist who's just not at all like me. <laughs> Someone not at all like me. So very talented and loves backgrounds <laughs> pretty much. Um, I'm not sure. And I know that how they meet so I might change this but I wanted them to meet in a way where Jules needed help with something up yeah 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 okay 
I remember now. It's been so long since I've thought about this, but Jules is... So he's officially a landscape artist, okay? But, you know, he does have to practice drawing people as well. And he needs to draw, you know, like, he needs a model. <laughs> wow, what an original, what an original idea. That's the thing. Who cares if it's not original as long as I'm having a good time. So he needs a model. And he can't get any of his friends to help him, you know, help model for him to do, like, some, you know, just pose studies and stuff like that, character, or anatomy studies. And he's talking to his other, his classmate, his friend, who's also an artist. He's like, yeah, I need help doing this, blah, blah, blah. And Mace is like, Mace, I think he's kind of, like, nearby, and he sees Jules, and he's immediately like, wow, what an angel, what a handsome little devil. <laughs> The man of my dreams is right there. <laughs> and so he he kind of just watches Jules and he hears that Jules needs a model. And Mace is like, I'm gorgeous. Use me. <laughs> and because that's just how Mace is. I love Mace. Uh, it's funny because I created this scenario. And here I am fangirling over what I just created. That's how you, that's how you need to react with your own characters, okay? And Jules is like, I don't know, man, I don't know you, and, like, uh, I, I could, this would help me out a lot, but, like, uh, I don't know. And I don't know how he gets him to agree, or I think Jules just has to agree because he's, like, desperate for a model. So I don't think he needs a lot of convincing. Um, but Mace is just, like, immediately, that's my man, right there. <laughs> and Jules just is, like whatever like he doesn't really it's very much mace um trying to court jewels i guess and uh yeah that's how they meet <laughs> very romantic um jewels is you know he's also a young guy like he's not a stick in the mud or anything but he's very like like he's not a rule breaker really um as you can see mace is a lot more fleshed out <laughs> than Jules is. Um, Jules is just kind of trying to stay in his lane, you know? He's just like, I just need to, I go to school, I go home, I go to work, whatever, like, that's it. <laughs> he's not super into parties. Um, he, like, he'll go, you know, like, once in a while, but he just rather not go. Whereas Mace is like, I'll go wherever the people are. And they're just, they're pretty pretty opposite but they they work you know mace is a nice guy um jules assumes that mace is straight just because he is constantly being hit on by girls and mace isn't automatically like haha no thanks i don't know what to make them originally mace was supposed to be just straight up gay and jules was supposed to be i think i made him bi but I might switch it around a little bit. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not sure just yet. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know. Um, but they're just supposed to be a very a very cute couple. Um, it takes a while to get Jules to kind of agree to give him a chance. But when they do, you know, it works out. It's very fun. A very fun relationship. When Jules' friends see him hanging out with Mace, they're like, Oh my god, you're hanging out with Mace? He's like, this. he's super popular. Like, how are you hanging out with him? Um, don't you know he has, like, he's, he's famous on YouTube or something. He probably, I don't know, I'll probably give him, like, a million subscribers or something. Like, something big, but not, like, life, a well, whole life-changing could be a, a million subscribers. But, like, he's not, like, followed around by paparazzi, you know? He's just, like, you know? Hi. <laughs> uh. He's still in university. He's still pursuing an education. Good for you, Mace. He, I don't think he just hangs out there. Should he just hang out there? That'd be weird. Mace, what are you doing at college? Work on your YouTube career. <laughs> just kidding. It's very, it's very important to have an education, says the person who doesn't have an education. I don't have much else about their story fleshed out. As you know, when it comes to me and my original characters, most of them don't have fleshed out stories. It's mostly like their personality, how they interact with each other, stuff like that. And I'm kind of, I'm like totally cool with that. 
I know a lot of people aren't very cool with that, like, for themselves or for me, because people are like, write stories or write comics, please write a comic, and I'm like, no, leave me alone, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm just like so not the type of person, I never wanted to make comics, I never wanted to make animations, um, I just like having characters and and some stories and some personalities and like that's it that's just i that's just what i like to do if you want to make comics and animations and whatever you can go ahead and do that but that's just i don't know if that's my thing um but yeah that's pretty much a majority of what i have on them i just like drawing them in situations that's it i love having them for situations um i like picturing how you know if I was in there, I want to draw myself with them. <laughs> they they look like they'll be so much fun to hang out with, right? Like you gotta you gotta like, right? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just feel like people are just so caught up on making perfect original characters. Where honestly, self indulge, you know? Make a character that you want to see exist. Who cares if they're, you know? super original or not original at all who cares if they are self inserts like just do what makes you happy if you don't want you know like you don't have to have them super flesh out if you don't want nobody can force you to flesh out your characters nobody can force you to create like you know like i don't know you know like you live for yourself as an artist i guess it's what i want to say People ask me, like, about, you know, because it, honestly, it is a little hard to get any recognition as an artist if you only do original characters. Um, what I tell people is, you know, because people are like, how do I get my characters more attention? And the only thing that I can tell people is you are probably going to have to do fan art of an already existing universe, already existing characters. And once you get some type of following from that, even if it's just a few more followers, like a couple more, then you can, you know, post your characters now and again. And eventually the people who follow you will, you know, like get used to seeing your characters, you know. Nobody cares about my original characters, um, especially now. But like before, back a few years ago when people actually liked my characters, they they only got to see my characters after I drew like relatable comics or fan art and then once I did that and I got a following from that I started posting more original content and people were like oh you do original stuff too that's pretty cool I guess and then that's kind of how I do that I don't know I don't know why people do fan art of my original characters people like to draw Luca a lot but I don't know why like I don't think he's that cool <laughs> um People, yeah, usually do fan art of him and Papaya. Um, and that's really it. But I would love to just make, like, actual videos talking about these two guys. I want them to be as popular as Luca. Honestly, they deserve the world. Love these guys so much. So sweet. So beautiful. Am I doing this right? Okay, cool. Um, whenever I draw them, I make usually... Uh, Jules is in some kind of like purpley colors and Mace is usually in reds. Um, yeah, so they're also like color palette wise. They're kind of uh, cool colors and warm colors. I don't know why. I don't know if I did that on purpose. I don't think I did. I think I just kind of looked for colors that worked with their color palettes. For color palettes, for characters, I usually color hair first and then skin and eyes. And then I figure out like what their outfits are i'll usually draw their outfits already but then you know coloring them in i have to figure out what works with you know their hair and skin and whatever um that's how i choose the color palettes for my character so like for these i knew i think i had jules his color palette down first i really wanted i don't have a lot of blonde characters um most of my characters have dark hair so I knew I wanted to make him like super platinum, but I was like, you know, since they are more realistic, you know, um, characters are not in a demon world. There's no aliens. They're just in a very boring human world. I was like, okay, um, 
although there can be people born with like really blonde hair i want him to have dyed his hair <laughs> you know like he dyes his hair i don't know if he he probably dyes it at home honestly knowing him he probably dyes it at home he's probably messed up his hair a few times he probably cuts his hair himself and that's why his fringe is all crazy and like not even at all he's he's just super artsy <laughs> but not artsy as in like i don't want him to be like he's just a, he's artsy but he's not like theater kid artsy <laughs> you know what i mean but he hangs out with the theater kids for sure he has to but he's not a theater kid he's just probably has a lot of friends that are theater kids why am i theater kids are a whole different species are any of you guys watching me theater kids no, no, like, I'm not judging or anything. I'm not saying any bad things about you. I'm just saying, wow. I wish I could have the confidence that all the theater kids that I knew had. Not that all of you guys have confidence. <laughs> Wait, why am I saying that like it's a bad thing? Um, not to stereotype you guys, but all the theater kids I knew were very out there. I wish I could be out there, but I'm not at all. And that's how Jules relates to me. He's very, just so, he's so timid. Jules, you gotta get out there, dude. I like to picture that Jules kind of gets in on the whole YouTube thing. Like, he helps Mace. Like, maybe, um... Maybe he'll... Help Mace with, like, original music. Or maybe he'll provide illustrations for, like, Mace's, um... I don't know. Like, he, he, he helps Mace somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. But if you get, like, a musician... And an illustrator together like some great things some great things can happen i said great some great things can happen but you know what i mean good things can happen when you get two artists together or bad things can happen as well <laughs> artists are very oh man if i've known if i learned anything from the artist community this past year it's not a very it's not a it's not as welcoming of a community as it should be i would love to learn to know how to sing and to know how to play an instrument and i can learn to play an instrument like that is something i can't learn but i feel like i don't have the patience for it you know whereas mace here i can just live my musician dreams through him mace also has a thing he, he loves music from i'm gonna say like the 80s a lot and the 90s he was also inspired a little bit by dan avedon don avedon danny Avedon uh, from Game Grumps with his love of like 80s stuff. I feel like Mace has that and Mace has this like extensive knowledge on bands from the 80s and can like list all these albums and you know he probably can cover any of their songs on, de on demand like by request just because he's practiced so you know he's he's attempted all of that music. I don't know how to explain it but he's just can you please Okay, there you go. I don't know. Just, ah, uh, Mace is so cool. <laughs> this video, did you fart? Seriously? Actually, I can kind of relate to Mace a little bit now because this past year, I've, um, I listen to music from a lot of different generations. Um, I don't know if that's the word, decades, <laughs> a lot of different genres. And this past year, I've been listening to a lot of stuff from like, well, from everywhere, right? But <laughs> I've been really good at, like, guessing the year of certain songs. So songs from, like, 2000 to now, I've been really good at guessing. So I'll listen to a song and I'll be like, that that's a song. that It sounds like it's from 2007. Like, it just has 2007 written all over it. And I'll look it up and I'm like, yep, I got it right. Or, like, I'll be one year off. But it's not really, like, a talent. <laughs> but it's just something, just from listening re-listening to all of these songs from the 2000s i've just had a 2000s kick recently like it's just something i'm like yes I, this is a, a new thing that i'm into and and just test me like like pick a song and I'll, I'll figure out what year it's from as long as it's from the 2000s and i'll i don't know it's a fun party trick not really but just the the fact that i can do that i'm like you know what this is exactly what mace is all about you can pick play a song for him from the 80s and he'll be like hell yeah that's this group from this year from this album like he's just such a music nerd um 
I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like this video was so all over the place and not interesting and not educational, which who cares if it's educational? Like some of these videos, I do want to try to make them kind of educational and stuff, but like, you know, who cares if they're not? Do you guys care if this is not educational? Did you learn anything? Do you see how passionate I am when I talk about Mace? I love him so much. Why are you going under my legs like that? Jules, you know what? Jules, he can be better. <laughs> I feel like Jules is the character... Jules is the person that I am. And Mace is the person that I want to be. And I think that's why I get so passionate when I talk about Mace. Um, and I remember I was so... I don't know how I came up with the name Mace. I have no idea. Don't ask. I usually, when I want to create... Uh, character names I just go on baby name sites if it's for like regular human characters usually you know um yeah I'll go to those sites and I'll, I'll like I'll usually know what letter I want them to start with so I knew I wanted like for Jules I think I knew I wanted a name with a J because I feel like J names are so like elegant I don't know how to explain it I don't know don't ask because I can't tell you. But I just feel like J names are so beautiful. And Jules is a beautiful man. So I was like, I need him to have a beautiful name. And Jules, I don't know. I don't know if that's a very common name for men. It might not be at all. Is that a name for men? Or is it like a, is it a, a unisex name? I don't know. But, um, but with Mace, I just needed, I just needed an, an M or something. I don't know why I chose an M. And then I chose Mace and I was like, it wasn't a very common name, so I made a comic that was like, actually his full name is Mason and he just goes by Mace because it sounds cooler. But now, I take that all back. Mace is his full birth name. Oh, I think I took it back because he's supposed to be Hispanic. I'm like, Mace, I don't think is a Hispanic name, so I don't know why I named him that at all. <laughs> but now I'm like, okay, I don't care. Like, I just like this name so much that I don't want to change it. And Mason, I don't even think Mason is a Hispanic name, so how does that make any sense at all? I don't know. So, um, he's gonna have a Hispanic last name, I think, but he's, his first name is just gonna be Mace for no reason other than I really like the name. <laughs> Jules, I don't know if Jules is gonna be short for anything. Um, I really don't know how he chose his name. I just think it's so pretty. You know, Jules... It's J-U-L-E-S, but like you think of J-E-W-E-L-S, like jewels, like diamonds and emeralds. <laughs> and I'm just like, he's so beautiful. Like Jules is my pretty boy. I really wanted a pretty boy OC. And I wasn't drawing, like I had a character named Riley who I sold recently. And I wasn't drawing him a lot. And also he wasn't a part of the human world. He was a part of the demon world. And I just needed a pretty, 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 pretty boy. And there he is and he has another pretty boy boyfriend but he's like a little more rugged but not really <laughs> oh man and Jules also I gave him my sense of fashion at the time so at the time I was super into drawing myself and my characters with the layered like the collar shirt underneath a sweater um and I still I'm still drawing Jules in that because I feel like that's just kind of his fashion his like you know what he likes to wear and me at the time I did like to dress like that a little bit but not really and I grew out of that um now it's all about windbreakers and stuff like that <laughs> uh but yeah see how it's just little tiny parts of me I'm just right into my into my original character like that oh my god every time I say that word I feel like I'm gonna die look at the love in Mace's eyes Mace I think he he might be a little drunk in this <laughs> in this uh picture yeah that's something i also recently decided to do with my characters was to make some of them like to drink a little bit you know because i was like you know i'm just gonna add a little something to these guys so i made um papaya and mace like drinking a bit um not that they're the only ones that do that but you know they're the ones that kind of really like it papaya i made him because he's this super innocent unassuming looking dude so i thought it'd be really fun to make him just really <laughs> just like to do that it's just a little bit out of character but not really you know like people wouldn't expect him to like it but he does um so that's the reason why i chose him and mace i don't know i guess because i 
Mace is just the type of character, the type of guy I want to be. And I'm like, well, I know that's kind of a part of me, so I'm just going to give a little bit of that to Mace. And, you know, it kind of makes sense. He likes, you know, he likes social gatherings and stuff. Why wouldn't he like exploring certain things? Um, they're both of age, so don't worry. They're both, like, legal to drink, so... Um, most of my characters are older. Not older, but, you know, they're not teens. Just because I want to, to relate to them more. And it's just more legal for them to, like, do stuff like drinking when they're not teenagers, you know? <laughs> uh, fun times. And it's just like, when you're a teenager, you can't really do a lot. Like, I know there's so many universes out there where th the world is being saved by kids and teenagers. But man, I just cannot picture that. <laughs> So, my characters are all grown-ups, except Atlas. But Atlas, actually, he might be 20 or 19. I have to figure out where I want to put him. But he's my youngest character for sure. I just don't know how young he is. Um, but yeah, these guys, I'm going to say, do, do I still want them to be in college? I don't know, man. I don't know where these guys are at in their life. But they're in love, and that's all that matters. I've created original characters based off of, like, a single song, which was Riley. Before I sold him, he was uh, based off of a Vocaloid song, actually, you know? Um, Luca, what was he based off of? He was inspired by... I don't... Is his What was his Japanese name? Kisu? Kishu? Whatever. From Tokyo Mew Mew. Luca. That guy. Tokyo... Mew Mew inspired. Papaya was from a dream I had. Uh, Riley was from a song. Uh, Atlas was from another song, another Vocaloid song. I already talked about Jules and Mace. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to think of like all the inspirations of my original characters. Shay and her love interest. I'm renaming her, so I don't want to say her name. Shay and her love interest were based off of i was watching playthroughs of the last of us and i got really into zombie apocalypse stuff so originally they were supposed to be a part of a zombie apocalypse universe and uh eventually it just became a normal human universe with no zombies in it at all but that's how they were inspired you know like the last of us technically um Emery, I feel like he was inspired by someone. I think Emery was inspired by Kenma from Haikyuu because that's when I started watching Haikyuu. So he was inspired by Haikyuu. And he, is he the only character I have that was inspired by? I think he is. A lot of people, when I draw Jules, they think he's inspired by Suga from Haikyuu. But I think I created Jules before I even watched Haikyuu, if I'm correct. It could have been during the same time. Um, but it, I don't believe he was inspired by Suga. And I would tell you if he was. <laughs> I swear, I am not at all shy of, of, uh, announcing where my characters came, you know, came from. Atlas, I already said what Atlas was inspired by. I'm trying to think of other original characters, and I can't. I don't know. But see how, like, like, there's not, you, you know, you don't need this life-changing thing to create an original character. You just need a song or a movie or anything. And and I've seen people who will create an original character for like Steven Universe. And then they end up, you know, building this character up so much that they remove them from that universe. And they're no longer a part of that. And they just come up, this character is a standalone, you know, like they they are their own person now you know what i mean like it's okay to come up with characters for fandoms like it's not a it's not a big deal there's nothing wrong with it and you know you can end up just creating somebody totally different like um i don't know it's just it's just wasn't wasn't um 50 shades of gray like a twilight inspired thing like wasn't it like didn't it start off as Twilight fanfiction? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's canon though, right? Not canon, but isn't it? Isn't that what happened? I don't know. But see, Fifty Shades of Grey was very successful. 
and it was from twilight like like don't be ashamed of your inspirations if you can be inspired by twilight go ahead and do that you know i don't know i just feel like i'm so late on the whole this is not educating anybody at all and what is with this shading i don't know what i'm doing here i really don't it's so hard for me to do actually to actually do stuff that requires thinking when i'm doing these videos because i'm trying to talk at the same time and it's just so hard it's just so hard guys anybody who's watching this if you have any original characters i would love for you to pick one that's your favorite and comment down below on like what inspired them or are they based off of you? Are they based off of an existing character, an existing universe? Did they become their own? Are they still in that universe? There's no shame if they are. Like, it doesn't matter if you have a self insert or whatever in a certain fandom. Like, there's just so much pressure for artists to just come, just to just like have these established universes and, and original characters and like uh, an established art style. And it's just like so annoying because I don't know. Technically, Mace is inspired by Undertale, I think, because the YouTuber that I kind of based him off of, I think I found him by his Undertale guitar covers. And I think he does metal covers, like metal guitar covers, you know what I mean? And I think I found him through that. So therefore, you can think Undertale or I can thank Undertale for helping me create Mace. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy how it was just like this like thing, this little domino effect and it's like all these things come together in the universe to create the perfect little gay boy. I don't know. He's not perfect, but to me, he's my baby boy and I love him so much. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him, he's so cute. Look, look at him, I love him so much like i feel like i love him more than i love any other of my original characters and i never draw them and i feel so bad i'm such a bad mom like i said i'm sorry that this wasn't like an educational video i don't want all of these owl's nest videos to be educational um or like you know life lessons i mean i, I want to try you know that's why i came up with certain things but like <sighs> sometimes if i just want to talk about boys like these boys that i came up with let me talk about these boys you know i don't know anyways i think this i'm just gonna end the video because i don't know what else to talk about i just don't want to i don't want to keep you guys waiting um so sorry that i'm not posting many videos other than these owl's nest videos um i just i'm so uninspired for like tutorials and stuff so i just want to draw my characters i just want to draw whatever i want and i'm working on commissions so that's taking up a lot of time as well um but yeah anyways if you want to talk about an original character in the comments down below please 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 go ahead and do so i would love to learn about your characters as well and what inspired them i would love to hear about a character like if somebody was like oh i have this character named this and they were based off of like pizza i would love that but like don't make it up like don't make it up right now i just want i just want you to tell me about the weirdest inspiration for an original character i would love that i don't know um anyways that's all for this video um wait wait look at this this is my month of january and these are all the goals that i did and i did pretty well except these two days i didn't have any electricity so it was a tough one but look i did pretty well on my month of january so i just wanted to show that off but yeah anyways if you were working on anything while listening to this go ahead you know, if you want, you can post that on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and tag it as Owl's Nest YT, and you might be featured in the next Owl's Nest end card. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this wasn't interesting or anything, but I don't know. I just, I had a fun time. It was a it was a little bit messy, but I had a fun time. I know people complain all the time every time I do a video like this. Uh, it sucks when you when you finally do videos that you want and then people don't like them. But whatever, you can't please anybody, right? You can't please everybody. Oh my god, I'm a little, a little hyper. Not hyper. I'm not hyper. I'm never hyper. Sometimes I just have a lot to say, and I feel like I have a time limit. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!